Howdy guys, today we're going to be going over our top five bourbons that I have from the Buffalo Trace lineup. Uh, we're going to go in order from our lowest to top. So starting out first, we've got number five, E.H. Taylor Small Batch. So this bottle, pretty hard to find, but when you do, you can get it at MSRP. It's about 50 bucks. Um, very solid bottle. When you taste this bottle, you've got a taste of caramel, corn sweetness, uh, butterscotch, licorice, and then the uh, aftertaste that I get from this is kind of a subtle spice of pepper and tobacco. Uh, pretty good bottle. If you can find one, I just got one the other day at allocation day. I uh, did a raffle. Uh, my name came up as number like four or five. Uh, I was able to pick up a, a E.H. Taylor small batch for 50 bucks. Moving on to our number four. Is going to be Eagle Rare. Got a store pick that I've been drinking on. Uh, Raymond's Liquor Stop. Anyone in the DFW area knows that Raymond's is a uh, pretty high, but man, Eagle Rare, pretty good bottle. So, tasting notes on this uh, complex, aromas of toffee, hints of orange peel, uh, herbs, maybe a little honey sweetness, and uh, leather oak. And honestly, like it kind of has like maybe a cocoa. Like chocolatey note, it's uh it's pretty unique, especially for the store pick, man. It's it's solid. Moving on to our number three, we got Weller Antique 107, or some of you guys might know it as uh, Old Weller Antique. So, man, this is this is definitely one of my favorites. I know it's one of Bruzel's favorites too. It smells just fantastic. So sweet. Kind of a floral note to it, a little vanilla. Taste is pretty balanced. Got sweet fruit notes in it and strong vanilla. Bit of a spicy tone to it, hence the 107. That proof kind of gives it that spice. And uh, it's got like a cinnamon finish to it. Pretty solid bottle. Uh, our next one on the list is going to be number two, going with blends. Now, we don't have no straight from the barrel or gold yet to try. We've just had the single barrel. Got a couple of these single barrels, actually. So, single barrel Blanton's, pretty solid bottle. Um, very hard to find. Uh, bottle probably, if you can find it at MSRP, is like 68 bucks here. Uh, most of the time, if you're gonna find it at a store that's not like price gouging like crazy and pushing secondary prices, you might be able to pick it up for 100. Uh, I know I was able to pick up this bottle for 100 from uh, the liquor outposts over in Mansfield. Uh, but then like this guy right here, like I, I paid secondary, I paid like $120 for it. It's kind of kind of rough. But Blanton's, man, the nose, it's, it's kind of spicy, but also sweet at the same time. So like nutmeg, vanilla, caramel. Um, when I'm drinking on it though, like I get like this dark cherry note at the end. Uh, I, I just love the flavor of this. It's just fantastic. Just drink that straight. Um, moving on to number one on our list. Number one on our list is going to be good old Stag. So Stag, whoa, man, this, I just got Stag maybe about two weeks ago. And I was like, I got to get another one of these before I open one up because uh, if I like it that much, I'm going to need a backup. So Stag, this is a, my review on this one, uh, I think that it's very strong as far as the flavor profile. It's obviously the highest proof and alcohol percentage of any of our lineup down here. Uh, but it has this cherry smokiness to it, and that flavor just lingers on the tongue. Not like a burn, but almost like a, like a, a bite that's just continuous of cherry notes and smokiness. And it's, it's just kind of hard to get. Some of it might come from the rye spice that's in this. It's got like a very bold rye spice. And then on the, the flip side of that, it's got like this rich sweet flavor. So got like chocolate and brown sugar notes that just come through on it. It's, it's really, really good. That's why it's number one on my list. And then just had an added bonus. So we had our, our one through five. Um, we have this bottle, which is a Blanton's bottle, of course, but it's an infinity bottle. And the Infinity bottle is a combination of all five of them, except for the fifth one, Stag, so it's just the four, I'm sorry. We have E.H. Taylor's small batch in there, 
Eagle Rare 107 and Blanton's, and they're all at equal ratios of uh, 150 cc's or roughly 5.67 ounces, close to five ounces uh, of each of the four. So it made for a pretty good blend and way different unique flavor profiles because they're not all in the same mash bill, but they're pretty close. They're all Buffalo Trace products, so the flavor blend is just super awesome. Uh, flavor is just phenomenal. I, I don't know if I would do it again. Like if, if I could just have them separate again, I think separate's better, but it is nice to try something different. But overall, that's my, my top five list.